Welcome back. My name is Thomas, and I'm joined by Jan and Jack for the third episode of the Azure Enablement Show on how to deploy your Azure landing zones using BICEP. In the last two episodes, we basically established and uh, built all the required Azure Landing Zone platform components, such as the networking, log analytics, uh, the policy assignments, as well as obviously the management group hierarchy. So, but before we actually go in into uh, how we enable the app uh, application landing zones um, and just like the subscriptions for that, uh, can you tell us a little bit what are the what are the differences between the platform and the application landing zones, and are there different types of application landing zones as well? Yeah, no, fantastic question, Thomas. And uh, if I just share my screen here, I can actually, uh, we actually recently updated our documentation about this. So if you go to the cloud adoption framework um, page and you go to what is an Azure landing zone, if you scroll down here, you'll see that there's a um, section here called platform versus application landing zones. So if we just navigate to that part of the document, we actually detail and document what the differences are here. So you're absolutely correct. There is a difference between platform and application landing zones. Platform landing zones would contain the things that we've deployed in previous episodes, like the hub network, logging, uh, the security modules, and you know automation accounts and those sort of things, and maybe your identity services like Active Directory. And then the application landing zones are where your application or workload teams deploy their uh, their workload. So things like Azure Virtual Desktop or the Azure VMware solution or SAP, all of those things would live in here. And there are differing types of application landing zones, whether it's centrally managed, whether it's a technology platform, a bit like Azure VMware solution or Azure Kubernetes service, or whether it's just a, a standard workload, like a, a new modern application that doesn't really have a, a type, it's just a workload. We also have a, a, some documentation and some guidance around those. 